Uh, or the script in what of the video? Descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, what do you guys think about the whole um, the whole map aspect of the game? With the size of the map, or are you talking about the what, size, what there is to the biomes, the uh, if one can call it that, like the different terrain types? There's going to be well, three. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I would call it different biomes simply because of the different weather conditions. Yeah. But what, what like do you guys... You've got the different temperatures, you've got the different height elevations, so it should be easier or harder to breathe based on that. Uh, as well as different storm patterns I could see being in different biomes as well. Yeah, but would... would uh, I don't really know this. Uh, would um, the height differences, would that... Um, affect your cardio skills? Are you talking about like if you're higher up in the mountains? Effect. Exactly, yeah, having the lower oxygen in the higher mountains. Hmm. Yeah, you know, he, he's, he's just shaking his head because he doesn't know what you said. You no, kind of I, I, uh, we, we agreed upon a, um, a, a sign language of when he cuts <laughs> out, I'm going to go like this. <laughs> uh, so he cut out. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I don't know no, I've that, seen that. But yeah, no, the height elevation making it so that there's less oxygen in the air. Yeah. Making it harder to breathe. It yeah. would be phenomenal if they could include that in the game. Yeah. Especially given that they plan to have mountains on the island. Uh has any information been shown about what are the fifteen guns at day one? Um I can probably find it up, but as off the top of my head, the basic, like, maybe <laughs> AK. Off the top of your head, and restart. <laughs> off the top of my head. Okay. I know that there's probably going to be the AK. Yeah, all right. <laughs> the basic pistol. The basic shotgun. The basic, the basic rifle. Yeah. And the basic sniper rifle attachments. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I mean, there's not actually uh, from, there isn't going to actually be snipers. It's just going to be rifles that you can put. <laughs> <laughs> what he's trying to say is there's basically just going to be rifles that you can put sniper scopes on. Can you nod and in, in yes or shake and a no? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as much as this might not be the, the best, you know, uh, educational video out there, at least you have some entertainment and silence as well. Mimics and such. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just the two of us laughing at Slave here. Yeah, and, and Max Lurry as well. He's laughing in caps lock. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Whilst uh, you know, slave over here, he he laughs in mute most of the time. There you go. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you also have skill skills in mimics. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> back to the game at hand. <laughs> oh, can, can you take us through the next uh, section there, uh, Slave? Are you sure about that? <laughs> what section? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, okay. Uh, can you guys hear everything perfectly? <laughs> You got halfway out from perfect. I got the <laughs> What do you have, slave? Does it work better now? For now, yes. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully leaving and coming back fix this problem. Hopefully. <laughs> have, I, have I echoed at all? Have I cut out at all? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> well, uh... Okay, well... I, I guess continuing on then, uh, just kind of do the, yeah. if I cut out, you know, nothing too obvious. No. Nope. Basically, they're eventually going to add a smell to the game, where the smell of your character is actually going to have an impact on the gameplay. 
it's just not on their highest priority on uh, right now. The smell of your character is gonna. What do you mean? Uh, they didn't really explain it too much. They just literally wrote that that the smell would have an impact on the game, <laughs> and they're eventually planning on putting it in. You better get your shower on. <laughs> So uh, maybe it's like the puppets will be able to know your location because of that, or maybe the wolves will be able to hunt you easier. Or... Well, you know, or maybe it's just Scum's attempt at, you know, throwing us back to the good old days of The Sims 1, where looking at those uh, pixelated pixels uh, in the shower was kind of like the high point of every young boy's <laughs> Probably. Thing. Or maybe, you know, it might just have like a, a hygiene thing on you. Where it can be like a way to, like maybe flies will go around you as the more smell you get or something, and it'll tell when you need to shower or something. That or could bathe. be. That could be. Uh, Max Lurie is uh, also saying, ha 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 ha, this is the funniest stream. So apparently we're doing something <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's exactly what we're going for. Remember that. We were going for comedy, nothing else. Yeah. Yes, the I, comedy I mean... factor just has to be there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking I will also start you know and start. then you so know what <laughs> you didn't continue so as to so we win the game wait are you purposely <laughs> faking a... something <laughs> is that what you were doing yeah, that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> wait you were really faking it yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> I was like, wait, is he being serious? Is he just screwing with me? By the was... way, guys, I'm just going to give you a heads up. The people on my stream can now officially see your guys' faces. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> nice. So or, you can do or... those sign language things, they won't be laughing at nothing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say con my condolences to, to your viewers? Well, I mean... My condolences. <laughs> Sorry, you have to look at this. <laughs> No, oh, come on. Do, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, back to the topic of the game. We've, <laughs> we've we've been streaming for I don't know ten minutes or so, and one sentence has been said seriously so far. Hey, I have done two sentences. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll give you that kind one. Kind of. <laughs> 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 I'm actually. I you guys take over for a little bit. I gotta finish making my uh, thumbnail. And then I'm completely game for everything. I, I want to point out that, you know, I, I have the whole it's late type of thing to blame, you know, for why I <laughs> laugh at everything. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. for me. Leave me alone. It's 3 a.m. Oh, okay. 3.20. Uh, but yeah, um, what do you want to talk about? Only one hour to go. Keonic, what do you want to talk about? Scum related. Let's see... I'm actually very curious as to how that lake's going to work out in the monastery that they said, sitting at the middle of it. Wait, what? Sitting at the middle of it? Uh, in the stream the other day, they said that the in the middle of the lake, there's an island, and that island has a monastery sitting on top of it. Huh. Th so this that's going to be pretty funny. interesting. Yeah. It'll be fun to, to see what, what kind of stuff we can find in there. Exactly that because you're gonna have to swim all the way out there, making you wet. Because they have because they haven't implemented boats yet. Yeah, you'll have, you'll get wet and uh. In the, the wrong fact type that I can actually throw on that <clears throat> real easily is uh they eventually plan to add buoyancy. Eventually, I thought they already did. That's so if you're too heavy, too. you'll just sink. Straight like to you'll you'll like basically you can actually uh you might they might implement things where you can bag things into like little bags. And then uh, when you go across the water, it'll actually cause the backpack to, like, float. Oh, cool. And uh, some of the items will actually be protected. Oh, cool. okay. So kind of like a waterproof sack. Yeah. Yeah, on nice. that notion, I also heard them talk about something. I'm not sure if I got this right, but if you had a backpack and you put your raincoat on the top of the backpack, everything else would be dry. Correct? <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, raincoat goes over your clothing and uh, other oh, attire. No. Like, if you're wearing shirts, stuff like that, it goes over it, and it protects the rain from getting everything else wet. I don't think it takes it, it everything off. It protects the rain from getting wet? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what I think it protects the clothes from getting gamer. wet. I'm sorry, I'm doing other things. What I think completely average gamer is getting at is using a raincoat to wrap 
your bag. Yeah. To seal it in so that when you go across the river, it will float on top. Yeah, or when it's raining outside, you can protect the contents of your backpack. Yeah, by using the raincoat instead of wearing the raincoat. Yeah, for example. That would actually be two. very nice if they implemented that. Yeah, or, or if you have multiple raincoats, you can have one on you and you can put your stuff in put one. one on your shoes and then on your backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Cause... Hey, you know, it gets rid of any footprints. Makes it harder for you to get tracked. There we go, guys. I am completely able and ready for this now. I just released the video, everything else. Well, I'm good. I'm pretty sure Mike will have something to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him. He cut out every second word again. I did it really again? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, dude. Okay. So basically, that means that the information base that I have beforehand about all the facts and everything that we can go over is now open again. It'll be easy to go through and uh, choose things. Uh, basically, I already brought up the fact about how the AI is uh, going to be put in at the very basic level right now on release, and over time they're going to bring it up pretty much like the skills in the game and the attributes from basic, medium, expert, advanced, etc. Let's look for a really good one, something we haven't actually talked about already. Uh, we've already heard somebody talk about the poisons of the game. Some of them are going to be naturals from plants. Um, environment and the ecosystem are not going to be, uh, regarding the, okay, here's one, uh, regarding the environment and the ecosystem at release, uh, unfortunately, everything isn't going to be like going in and you're going to look at everything like it's a whole new world and it's going to be like 100% <laughs> beautiful, like to the T, but they plan on, uh, slowly over time, increasing, uh, the graphics of the game and what it can handle and pushing it, like I said, again, with what I, uh, previously brought up one step at a time from basic all the way up it's, it's definitely going to be a stepping stone process and with that in mind they do implement plan to implement additional plants and animals on top of what's currently going to be at launch yeah uh actually there's uh horses and wolves i believe are confirmed right now and then there's going to be donkeys cows chickens uh, and, and some a uh, few other basic animals that they already have planned to be uh bringing in after the ea phase a lot There's of things are going to be after the EA phase. Plant. There's one particular plant I'm very happy they're putting on the island. And that Is it would be cannabis? You can guess it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought there's, I mean, there's drugs in the game, and you were like one particular plant, and I was like, well, what would anybody say? We'll bring up a plant, and I'm like, of course you hey, can think Hey, I was that. the one that actually put in the suggestion about the cannabis plant being in the game as a farmable plant. Oh, uh, apparently you're going to be able to still chop down trees and... Uh, but, but, you know, stuff like that, and use it to uh, fortify and also uh, craft things. And yeah. they're oh going to hopefully implement uh, farming into the game. Oh my god, Didn't they I say yesterday that they would? Um, did they? I thought they did, but maybe not. I, I didn't watch the latest stream yet. Uh, I, I, I believe they did, but don't quote me on it. Okay. Um, well, they also plan on adding a fishing rod eventually and fishing traps. Yes, fishing for food, that'll make things a lot easier. Uh, they're already made, they're just waiting for uh, the animation and the programming side right now. That's cool. Yep. Um, again, uh, we're going to say this a lot, it's going to be available probably around the EA phase. Yeah. <laughs> like, 90% and... of the facts. <laughs> that, and, that and nothing else, you know? Yeah, What's the nothing, nothing else, just, just the fishing. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's about the fishing. Okay. The early oh, access yeah. phase is only for fi fish implementation. Yep. Yeah. That's all Nothing it's going to be else. about. Fish jumping in the water, they're just there to taunt you. Yeah, yeah. fishing simulator. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be jumping out of the water going like and then jumping back down. Again. What, have you never no, 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 no. See what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to craft a basic spear and throw it into the water and try to hit the fish. No, no, no. If you got a really high dex, you can catch them with your hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's uh, also uh, both types of loot can be found and acquired in the game, meaning uh, physical loot versus uh, loot you can have to see in containers. So you can actually see loot laying around versus as only just in a crate or a box around the world. See yeah, how we're talking about loot? Will there also be lube in the game? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to know why you want to know that, but yes. No, well, you know, <laughs> I, I would imagine it, it's kind of obvious. You know, it's a prison game. 
No. Okay, okay. Fine. You know what? I was gonna be like, you know what? You brought up a good point. Uh, but yeah, oh, we, <laughs> for, for the sake of uh, not getting our channels banned, let's skip that point and move on. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you also have to keep in mind the game is set for 18A. Yeah, and also, Wouldn't you know, if, if you're going to watch your smell in the game, you'll have to also watch your bar of soap. Uh, obviously, in terms of the metabolism, food is going to be digest at different rates, so not everything's going to obviously digest at the same exact speed. Yeah. That's literally what it means. <laughs> uh, food's going to go bad in this game, and you're going to be able to chop up the bodies of wildlife, the puppets, and like I said earlier, it's going to give you a decent amount of bones, meat, and uh, whatever the supplies that the puppets drop when uh, you kill them. Yeah. It's going to be relative to their size. And w one thing I want to uh, mention about yesterday's development stream, or developer stream, um, it's the whole aspect of uh, the hydration system and how that affects the player, as well as the uh, energy, nourishment aspect of it. Where you could live, even though your um, hydration bar reaches zero, you can still live for like two to three days. No, was it three to five days? Oh yeah, it's not going to instantly kill you because that wouldn't be realistic. Like, yeah. It's not going to instantly start draining your health. Yeah, I think it That's was actually good, I didn't know about that. I'm actually glad I learned that. Yeah, I think it was three to five days you could live with the bar being at zero, uh, which is exactly equivalent to, to normal real-life people uh, capabilities. Um, and same with the hunger as well. And then, when it comes to, and then when it comes to your food bar being at zero, you can live for quite a while, they said. Yeah, depending on your, your body build. <clears throat> yeah. Because you start like eating out of your, I don't know. Uh, up nutrients burning fats. your fat and whatnot. Okay, so yeah, depending on like how bustled you are and how active you are, it would depend on how it's gonna burn through all the calories that you take in. Yeah, and and also the calories that you have stored. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, obviously, we all basically know that. I'm literally cycling through pages of stuff that I have because we kind of just hopped around between subjects. Yeah. Um, like any already went there. Person would. Obviously, there's go. I don't. Uh, this is something that you may or may not know. There's going to be ten, uh, around ten levels of fame that you can obtain. So there's going to be tiers. We'll just like rank one is prisoner, two is thug, and it, then eventually the last one's going to be like superstar or whatever. Uh, it's going to actually have uh, levels of fame that you'll be able to achieve by uh, doing the events or killing other players, etc. And that will actually determine like. I'm going to assume how much uh, gear you'll be able to obtain, uh, what type of sponsorships you'll be able to get, because you'll actually be able to be sponsored in these events, depending on how well you do in all of the events you take part in. I could actually see them in going one step further and implementing a system where you get a better house with your higher tier in fame. I mean, I could see that, but I don't know how far that'll go. Because if they do that, I mean, they could just give away a fortress <laughs> yeah. if you're, like, well, the best player. And then, like, it kind of takes away the point of going place. there and taking it over, you know? Because what, what I'm saying with a better place, I'm not necessarily saying better fortification, but, like, just nicer, nicer looking accommodations. I don't know, For because, example, I, I mean, I'd have to think that the there'd be a limited versus... amount of places. Like, like I, I would... you, you got to think there's a limited amount of buildings in there. But so like if to, they like, fix some of the buildings to be locked until somebody reaches those ranks. You know, I guess, I mean, because there's only going to be, uh, I mean, because there's going to be 64 people on a server, and then people are always going to be able to hop in and out. Mm -hmm. There's going to have to be, like, at least more than 64 buildings <laughs> to, like, accommodate. Like, what if people are playing that actively, you know? Well, They're going to need some way Looking to do down that. at the beach, there's so many buildings that are set up down there. And also, that's just the beach alone. That's not taking into account the airstrips, the military bases, anything like that. I'm assuming that's true. all of those will be uh, fortified. I also have a counter yeah. question to the one we brought up earlier about fortifying a base. And you know how you get the key to the place whether you earn it or buy it. If somebody destroys the fortifications, takes all the loot that you have in there by chance, can they theoretically take it over with their own key? Oh, uh, that I I think that would depend on whether or not their key would work in the door that they broke into. Well, I mean, because you can break it down no matter what, whether you own it or not. But can you turn that place after breaking it down into your own place by kind of using your key to overwrite their key? 
I think That'd this was touched upon. Considering when you respawn, you'd be spawning back into your original base, would you not? Well, yeah, but you could just destroy the sleeping bag. Yeah, well, I... no, no, no. What, what, I'm not talking about when you die and respawn. I'm talking about when you log off and log back in. When you log back in, you log back in the same spot. You know, maybe you that's the thing on. that was for the sleeping bag. Because remember I said it didn't make any sense died and then lost your character unless you bought it back that you'd spawn in the sleeping bed? I don't well, I know. I thought that was for the revive. Yeah, I, I think so too, but I don't know how that'd work. I I might be wrong, but I think they talked about it in yesterday's um, developer stream, but I can't remember what they said about it. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to come back to this sometime. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to. This won't be the last time that... <coughs> The game Definitely starts. Not. Uh, I mean, I just kind of thought that was a curious thing to, you know, bring up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing, you know, we've been talking so much about facts and stuff about it, and we don't have to definitely limit it to, to just what we know of the game. We can also uh, talk about what we like or what we dislike or what we think would be a great addition or not. Yeah. Um, the main well, thing yeah, for me... Some of the stuff we could talk about is the... Uh, yeah. Uh, that gets suggested or questioned... The, the main thing for me that, like I said, I worried about, I'm worried about that. I brought up a little bit earlier is uh, the lack of AI in most survival games. And I don't know. I feel like at the airport, there should be an actual horde. I, I'm really worried about that. Like if they say horde and it turns out to be 15 zombies, like I mentioned earlier, or puppets, sorry, uh, puppies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it, do you believe that they're actually going to have a horde? Like, at this stage, do you honestly believe there will be a horde at the airport, or do you believe it's going to be, like, 15 puppies? I have a feeling at the moment it'll probably be closer to the 10 to 15 mark. Yeah. Once they get further down in op optimization, they might implement larger hordes. But if you take into account the number of prisoners on the island and that the puppets or puppies <laughs> are essentially former prisoners that have died, there really wouldn't be too, too you know, many on the island. I love that Actually, we've the now coined here. the term puppies for the puppets. <laughs> <laughs> the question here to counter that actually is, if, okay, say there's already a base amount, because they, remember, this is season two, guys, if you don't know that. Yeah. Like, we're going into season two. So there's all, there obviously should be puppies uh, on this island. <laughs> and uh, assuming that there's about 64 puppies because of how many people could be in it, <laughs> If, say, as people die, do these... I'm saying puppets now. Puppies just seems too ridiculous. Anyways, <laughs> do these puppets stay there and they just continuously stay in the world? And then, like, say, like, 64 people just start killing themselves over and over and over and over and over. Are they just going to keep stacking? Like, how many puppets are in this world? Well, yeah, I, I, I have a feeling they probably stack. And they might have a mini event or something where they'll say to all the prisoners, okay... It's puppet hunting season. You'll get so many fame points for each puppet you kill, kind of thing. That'd just to be cool. able to reduce their That'll numbers. That would be awesome. I think they should do that if it gets every if it ever gets to the point where uh, there's too much, to where it's like starts impacting the server. That's exactly, when they should be yeah. like, okay, we need to call them. But like, we're gonna find a way to fit it into the lore. So yeah, doing yeah. a kind of a mini event like that would actually work perfectly. Yeah. Oh. uh Another thing, they're actually going to add uh, they're actually going to add sports into the game. I don't know what? how or what the sports are exactly, but they did like somebody was like, "Hey, is there going to be sports?" and a dev replied with, "I actually can't talk about that right now." But you know, <laughs> wink. <laughs> well, well oh, I can see it. Let's now. face it though. Prisoner football shiving is allowed. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see Syntex <laughs> sprinting at the foot, like, right at the front with the fucking football in his hand, and everybody else is running with shivs behind him. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, based upon you know the amount of of craziness uh, or sickness coming out of the dev team with cannibalism and and governments controlling zombies slash puppies coming back to life. <laughs> uh, I I wouldn't put it past him to put some kind of gruesome horror party of a sports game into the into the mix as well. 
Yeah, you know, oh I definitely God. want to point out. I just uh, thought of something hilarious. The as a, version, but the defending team, their defensive line is all puppets. <laughs> They're not uh, trying to do anything other than just go after the attacking team. <laughs> do you, okay, I actually got two things now because you were being football. ridiculous. <laughs> uh, the first one is. Do you think they do a Plants vs. Zombies? <laughs> plants vs. Zombies. Like, I mean, just prisoners dressed up as plants, and then the other side of the prisoners dressed up as zombies. It could be a nice Halloween that party. That would be interesting. You know, kind of like, uh, you know, a Halloween uh, event. Yeah. It could be fun. Do you think that's something that could happen? You holiday events. Well, I, I don't really know. The I know holiday more, events though. work out pretty well based on the Overwatch system. Hmm. Also, so it makes sense that they would implement seasonal events. Or, one thing uh, I want to go yeah. on, aside from uh, taking the death plane of our former friend slash uh, pilot, <laughs> not <laughs> going to mention any names, <laughs> but uh, aside from that, what type of uh, vehicles do you think are going to be in the game? I mean, obviously the basic boat, because of sailing, obviously a basic vehicle, but I mean... How far do you think they're going to go with these vehicles? Do you think they're going to be complex? Or do you think it's going to be just a basic four-door car, a basic boat, and a basic helicopter? Uh, when it comes to boats, I think they might have two different kinds, a paddle boat and a speed boat. Well, but if you and... paddle boat or a speed boat, it's not sailing, though. Because ah, there's an actual sailing skill. Point. Do you have a point? Yeah. Uh, so there has to at least to... be a sailing boat. So yeah, there probably is going to be a sailing boat that'll be like on one of the coasts and you can sail all the way around the edge of the island kind of thing. Okay. I, I, I could see them having that. Uh, you know, cars and whatnot. I think they're probably going to have a standard like sedan kind of thing. And I could also okay. see them having like military transports on the island. Oh yeah. Like broken down military transports that prisoners can fix actually, up. Actually, I can actually own. answer that for you. Uh... They're going to have uh, in-game events where they actually do have military transports in the game, and uh, they're going to be moving around. Bar oh, they... nice. Payload events. Sweet. Yep. But that's eventually down the line, and we I don't know how specific it's going to be. Maybe it actually travels around the map. Maybe it's just in an area, and they're just guarding it because they broke down or something like that. It would just suck to be there, you know, fresh, a fresh spawn. You got your, <laughs> you got your stick with you, and life is going well and then all of a actually sudden, i don't uh, think you start with the stick bro <laughs> no but you've gotten to that point where you've gotten a okay okay your stick a stick spear so you've been playing at least an hour and you've gotten far enough to get a stick yeah takes you an hour to get a stick <laughs> well you know it depends on your character i'm if just you, messing with if, you guys if, if you able to get that within the first five to ten minutes well you know we would because we we would you oh. know uh, opt into the intelligence but syntax wouldn't uh, <laughs> you know what'd be great but, here, guys? Just picture like an actual convoy happening, and say we're all grouped up, and we just like sneak up to all of them and just stealth kill the whole entire thing. That would be fun. How how so awesome would that be? <laughs> like, oh well, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's four people there. Moment. Sneaking up behind <laughs> and be like, that's one, two. Now, see what's three. really gonna happen, syntax. You and me are gonna sneak, and we're going, okay, guys. Remember, don't make any. And then Chaotic Rob's gonna shoot a gun, and <laughs> they're gonna see the bullet, turn around, see us right behind them. And the funny thing is, it'll be while he's in the middle of making his speech. Oh yeah. Yeah. So he wouldn't have really 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 finished yet, and the bullet would have already left the trigger. <laughs> or the gun. It's, it's gonna be an even more modern version of Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Uh, but again, what would have been cool is you know you have your stick spear. You've been playing for an hour or or five minutes, uh, and then you know one of these events come along, and then all of a sudden you have to fend off a a Abrams tank or. You know. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? It's okay. Just take the stick, try to stab <laughs> it into its tracks, and you better hope that it works. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to work, but you can help. <laughs> gonna adjust this. Okay. Whew. Okay, uh, do you guys know too much about the backstory? Because I actually got a little bit of some backstory slash lore here that you might or might not know. Well, I can just us. quickly read off. Hit us. Okay, uh, pretty much everything happens about 20 years in the future from now. Adjusting camera. There was a major breakthrough in technology and bioengineering, 
Uh, people are getting implants that can boost their abilities or monitor their vital signs and signal if something has gone wrong with them. The era of cyborgs is still far away from the government. <coughs> uh, far away, sorry, but the governments and large corps are obviously, you know, getting very close to this. And it's not really legal in all ways, obviously, because, you know, it's the government and big companies, and that never really happens. Now, they're also uh, experimenting with all this technology they're developing on the prisoners they send to this island. And that's how they're learning and uh, deciding where they need to go with their uh, future projects. Uh, human organ replication is already old news in this time period, because, and it's become far uh, less expensive for uh, the majority of the population. Uh, the good health care in general is reserved for only rich people nowadays. <clears throat> and that's pretty much the backstory you're going to get that I have on that uh, the in terms of the outside world. And now in terms of the island, obviously the end goal is escaping the island. Uh, since the game's set in the near future, the Tech One company uh, can clone every single player, and that explains away the lore of being able to respawn. We all know that. And it's hidden somewhere... Uh, you're hidden somewhere safe until you die, and then they just bring the clone to the island again, put a VCU unit in the back of its head, and boom, there you go. Now... What's, what I think is kind of cool about this, and uh, may be explained later on, uh, parting from continuing this, is kind of like a lore thing. Do these people, like, say these are real prisoners you're playing, if they die, and then they go back to a previous uh, downgraded version of themselves, do you think that they keep all their memories from their previous life, or they have the memories up to the downgraded point that you respond in? Like, I just for lore's think, sake. I personally think it's going to be something similar to what they had in the movie The Sixth Day. Uh, I've never seen it. No. <laughs> yeah, no, you so haven't you seen it, or no, you don't agree? No, I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that movie, what they have is known as... It essentially takes a photograph of the brain. Okay. And it, the photograph is a mapped out version for that individual person. In the movie, Actually, when they clone a person, it essentially copies the personality as well into the new clone. So everything that the clone knew up until the point of the sin courting would be transferred over to the new clone. I could actually explain this away because by reading further down into the fact that I actually gathered, it actually explains that. <laughs> okay, uh, then. Pretty much. <laughs> the BCU on the back of your head is a little computer of sorts that collects all your memories feelings, records all your bodily functions, uh, that's why you have all those things popped up on the screen, and stores them somewhere safe on the server they have access to. Once your clone gets back the BCU in the back of its head, it gets all the information and actually becomes the you you're playing now, while your old body gets reanimated by its own BCU and starts roaming the island as a puppet. That's that way, the way we actually, uh, they actually manage... Oh. That's more or less the exact same uh, yep. narrative as um, as the Alter same premise. Kai Carbon as well. Yeah, uh, that way uh, they actually managed to explain uh, how uh, the respawn works, how your character's uh, memory works, how they can still have a certain amount of knowledge that they had instead of going back to square one. Keeping the um, realism, it doesn't explain yeah. why you drop down a certain amount. To it, like maybe uh, you can only it only records up to a certain point, and that explains why when you respawn, you're well, not as strong I, as you. I would before. say one reason ah, why it would be that I way would say is it's a penalty that they're imposing on the prisoners. Exactly, I would or it's to make penalty. it more interesting like for the viewers. Exactly, okay. when you die, you are punished by not getting as good stats when you come back. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you if you if let's look at it uh, as a reality show, if you're the absolute favorite uh, from for all people at home, and then you just die and you get exactly what you were what you were before, then the skill and the fun would be gone. Okay, in my opinion, anyways. No, I definitely think that I like uh, I like games that are open, but like you can't achieve an end game because I like if you beat a game, I like being able to beat it, but then I like being able to play it after. So, for instance, my version of achieving the end would be escaping the island. And then if I say I don't escape the island, that would be me playing as if I didn't want the game at 10. So then there would be constant things that I could do while I stay on the island. So it doesn't feel like I'm forced to escape the island. I kind of want it to be toward, like, at, at one point, I am going to want to escape the island. Just to be like, yeah, I definitely did it. 
But other than that, I'm going to want to survive as long as I can for the next playthrough or for when I can actually, you know, once you're able to escape that and then do it, I'm going to want to be able to go back and then just survive as long as I can with the character. Me personally, I see this game as having two different end games. You've got the end game from the storyline, and then you've got the end game because you managed to get to the highest tier in the PvP. But even then, I mean, it's not really going to end, and that's what I kind of prefer in my games when I'm playing survival games or something like that. I don't like, uh, I generally don't like feeling like there is an end because, say, an Ark or Rust or something like that, you'll eventually get to a point where you can get so powerful in it, Alpha Server, <laughs> you get so powerful in it that nothing can threaten you ever. You have you have no need for anything, and mm. there's there's gonna be like a lot of people like, well, no, that trust me, you'll get to a point eventually. You'll try hard <laughs> and dedicate time, yeah, as you're saying, you'll no, dedicate no, time. We're, to where we're, you we're, get we're laughing there. because you're cut out for a good portion. Of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Well, nor do Problem I. Solved. But. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Whatever Just watch happened. it happen immediately after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how much of that was retained? Well, I, I kind of lost it after I started the nodding. You know, I, I'm a man, I can oh, only okay. do one thing at a time. It, it's fine. <laughs> I'll just keep my uh, stuff short and in, in, to the point. Yeah. For right now. So that we don't get any of the and words. Watch. Next time it'll only be three or four <laughs> words that it doesn't. <laughs> I'll just be like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you, you learned something, right? <laughs> well, you know, it's, <sighs> it's what we always. And a million dollars, and then of course we have the. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> That's so off to that seems so off topic. I get your point though. I don't know how to fix it. That's all right. Well, no, if, if you think about it in the context of the game, it could be well, you know, I had a million dollars and then <laughs> I went to go to the airline and I got friggin' arrested and thrown on this goddamn island. <laughs> so I went to the airport and <laughs> And then I found this guy, and he offered me a ride. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Syntax 101. Oh, End yeah. of story. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, so I actually do have the, the amount of kilometers that the safe zones are going to be in diameter. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, it's uh, anywhere from 700 uh, meters to one kilometer. Oh. So it's like uh, I take that 2, as a challenge. One hundred <laughs> feet to how much? Hey, I, I'm not doing this math. <laughs> I'm doing it. Uh, one kilometer would be, I think, about three point three two thousand uh, or something. Yeah, three point three thousand. Oh, uh, yeah, there's rather. going to be a shooting range in the game, guys, and it will eventually be a safe zone. But right now, it's not. And there are work in progress safe zones in the game uh, that will be on release, but. All the safe zones won't be in the game on release. AKA, if you want easy access to that firing range, go into an event and have some fun before the event starts by shooting everybody else there. Or, you know, <laughs> or if, at you least want, how they if you want to have some fun with streams prior, if you want to have some fun with some shooting ranges in Scum, you can just line some people up. You can do that. Yeah, but you still gotta find the gun and the weapon and the ammo and whatnot <laughs> also in the safe zones uh you're going to be able to uh find a residential area with buildings where you're going to be able to buy lunches uh drinks uh, seek medical help buy stuff and even store your items all so from maybe, some, maybe some type of uh, bank <laughs> in the safe zones <laughs> So, you know, I did recommend using teeth as in-game currency for trading between players. They're actually thinking about using cigarettes, you know, because of prison. Cigarettes, nice, okay. Well, I was thinking teeth because they're readily available, and you don't have to worry about them having another use. I'm not going to lie. If somebody starts chasing me for, like, a fist fight, I'm not going to jump into the <laughs> fist fight. I'll just kind of be like, <laughs> Done. I don't want to lose my teeth in it. I'm self-conscious about my teeth. If I lose my teeth in the game, I'm going to look ugly. I'm going to have to... No, 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 I'll be like level... Like, max five, and they'll be like, oh, you have no teeth. And I'm going to be like... 
<laughs> New character it is. You think if you get shot in the face but you don't die for whatever reason that you could lose teeth? Sure. Uh, <laughs> if you get shot with like a shotgun, maybe. I'm pretty sure you're, you're gonna die, obviously, but. Well, not not yeah. necessarily with a shotgun. If it's far enough back, it could knock your teeth out and just give you, like, a small concussion. Oh, yeah. Uh, another thing we brought up, you know, just uh, straight campers, just people who camp anywhere on the map, not just at the safe zone. It's going to be the same penalty as trolling, where you might lose fame over time or get some uh, puppets sent after you. Or a big-ass bot if you piss them off enough. <laughs> you guys think that they'll use, uh, since it's going to be a biochem skill, do you think we're going to be able to make bioweapons? I shall make mustard gas. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I, I I think Bob is more of like understand a... which person or which people would be able to control this, but they did talk about um, pests and such, pests and insects oh, and no, uh, wasn't it pests? Is that what they called it? Um, like insects and and such things that you could swarms of them. Oh, okay. Uh, so like relation... a horde of locusts or something. Probably. Uh, or I'm mosquitoes full of malaria. Sure that's what they were talking about. That, okay. Maybe maybe something got lost in translation and then lost again in the retranslation okay. back. But I'm, I, um, I'm pretty sure that's what they talked about. Well, that's that interesting. Be interesting. Uh, one thing that, uh, for everybody who's uh, getting the game after it's released, and for the people who aren't getting it early, uh, the streamers who don't get it or the YouTube content creators who aren't getting it, you're not going to have to worry about them like already establishing bases or anything because it's going to wipe at launch. So they may have already played it and kind of got familiar with the area, but they're not going to have like a level character or any more of a boost than a person who just started a character. Other than obviously being familiar with the map. I'm going to run right towards the island. Okay. The Nobody lake, said anything, so I was island. like, <laughs> I'm really quiet, and I was like, does that mean that I wasn't heard? Did it happen again? No, we we're, we just uh, started ignoring you now. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> um, they're actually, they're not really sure if there's going to be any wipes for any servers, but as far as it is right now, other than the initial wipe at release, they're not going to be wiping the game. They obviously can add it, which honestly I am against. I don't want wipes. I don't want periodic wipes. I'm completely well, against again, it. If you think about it in terms of seasons, they could do a season wipe. Well, I mean, sure, they could do that, I guess. But then at the same time, like if you put it this way, do you really think? I mean, on the aft chance, how many people are going to live the whole entire season? And then if they do live the whole entire season, Aren't they, I mean, and you spend hundreds and hundreds of hours building a character. Do you really want to lose your character just because a new season came? Well, if you think about it, that would give the people an incentive to save and hoard their fame points. Well, because that's if the if fame points carry over. Fame po well, if you have to have a certain number of fame points to make it so that when the season wipe happens, your character doesn't die. Okay, I get what you mean. So pretty so much, it's still white. Over into like the next all the buildings yeah. and everything are no longer owned by people, etc. It kind of resets the whole map. But your fame points that you accumulated throughout the whole season, you can reuse to try and keep as much as you could. You know, essentially allowing your character be a fan to cycle over to the next season. If that's what they did, I could definitely be a fan of that. But if they don't, and it's just like a pure wipe, and you don't get to keep anything, or you get a chance to try and keep anything, I'm not gonna be okay with that. Uh, I I just want to jump back real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, where I had my information about the pests about was uh, Eroc Eroctic. Oh, yeah, like I that. know him. Yeah, um, he's uh, escaped from Tarkov gamer, and he's now switching over to Scum. Oh, uh, he he's been nice, doing Scum nice. for like a year or so. Yeah. Um, oh really? Oh yeah. Um, a company can also cause <coughs> elemental ele elemental disasters wherever they want, whenever they want. Um, and then a company that works in bioengineering can, for example. Um, add uh, genetically modified pests at certain areas. Hmm. Wait, so you could release a swarm of genetically modified mosquitoes to, like, give the enemy group malaria or something? I say I understand it. <laughs> okay. 
That would actually be pretty interesting. Oh, okay. You know, actually, I didn't bring this up, and this is probably important. Uh, there's not going to be micro uh, uh, transactions in this. No. Uh, we actually had a question about that in uh, the last live stream in the comment section. Okay, did you actually yes. answer that? Oh, yeah. Absolutely no pay to win. That's mm. going to make this so nice. A little off topic, what do you guys think about, you know, the, the whole pay to win, pay for stuff in game, loot box system? Uh, Since I guess I could put it this way. Uh, with what you're saying, it can, can I, if I can earn everything that they can in game through, like, it doesn't matter how much time it takes. Just if I can earn it in game, I'm completely okay with people being able to buy uh, weapons ahead of time because then I can still I can still earn it without having to buy it. But if you can only get specific things by paying for it, I'm against it. I don't really like it, but obviously it's a part of gaming that I can't really you know change. But I definitely don't uh, like it if uh, they get a boost or they get a weapon that you can't get in the game by spending time on it. Well, th think about it this way: in terms of this game, if you as a brand new player come in and you're given the option to, say, spend $5 to get a starter kit. And the kit comes with a gun, it comes with some starting crafting supplies, and it comes with some food as well as a, like a schoolyard backpack. Kind of like a basic survival starting kit. Still against gun. it. <laughs> but the, all of these things you can find in the game. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'd be okay with that. Like, I'd be, like I said, I'd be fine with that. Whereas I am on the opposite end of where you are saying, I personally am completely against pay to win because if somebody like myself has been playing for hours upon hours and has just finally gotten all those things and then somebody comes into the game not even five minutes in and has all those things right off the bat, it's like, okay, why the hell? It, it's ridiculous. It's, I guess yeah. the reason for me being okay with it is because me as a gamer playing it, like, to me, I would think, okay, well, that's dumb. Why would I spend money on something that I can just earn in the game? And then I earn it, and then, like, somebody's like, oh, well, I bought it. I'm like, well, I mean, now if you die, you just lost five bucks or, like, whatever you spent on it. Like, you just lost money and time. Like, whereas if you just earn it, it's not really taking real funds from you. So, it, to me, it's a better reward system if you actually level up, spend the time to get your character to a certain degree, and eventually find what you were looking for. And then you finally get it. It feels way more rewarding doing that than just, you know, here's five bucks, give me my gun and starting stuff. And then you spawn in the world and to counter that, like, say, I'm hiding in the bushes and I'm like, <laughs> and I just snipe him, <laughs> take his crap and leave. That means he just wasted five bucks to go into the world for five seconds before I took him out and took his stuff. Well, I, Yeah, I guess I, that does kind of incentivize that a little. As you were saying, Keg? Sure. Yeah, I, I, I just want to say that I am old enough... Uh, to remember a time where one could buy a game and you'd own oh, it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> like you went a different direction, never mind. <laughs> hmm? I, I like, you sat there and you were like, I remember a time, and I was like thinking of, oh, okay, like, subscription-based games he's going for there. And I was like, wow. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and then you were like, when you could just buy a game own it. And I was like. <laughs> but yeah, as you're saying. Yeah, you disappeared again, but it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, um... Dude, we really gotta take screenshots of your facial expressions from time to time. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Who? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, Slave. <laughs> see, I, I don't see your face that much. I only see the chat. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. When I do this, though, I see it. But then you always have a straight face. <laughs> is that like a thing it's like whenever I look to the side it's like yeah it's like when you look away I'm like you can tell <laughs> <laughs> dude I don't know what it is uh, acting up with my computer like I said man I have fiber and I'm directly plugged in like I don't get it well, you know I'm gonna yeah, quickly dude, unplug my wire optic? that's awesome I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if like wireless does any better right now what upload or download speed are you getting with fiber? It wasn't good earlier. <laughs> it, it was not fiber worthy. Let's say that. At the same time, I don't okay. think you, you'd reach the same speeds without fiber. Yeah. 
Um, we basically gone over leaving for game. I mean, we've covered a lot of the things that I've gathered for facts. I'm actually looking through to make sure we haven't gone over thing. Uh, a lot of people were wondering if there was going to be a queue in the game. And as I mentioned before, it's first come, first serve. There's no queue. Uh, another thing you guys might be interested in is the type of events. Uh, there might, there's going to be arenas and cages, whatever that means. So maybe just a cage brawl. Mm -hmm. A free-for-all uh, style match. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's something like that. One thing I am curious about is in these events, since you go in with, your, with separate gear, not your own gear that you found in the survival role, do does the deaths in the events kill your character or do you think it doesn't because it wouldn't really make sense if you were in a team death match where it would be a multiple round thing that you'd lose your character you know uh, Did yeah, you no, when you die in the event it respawns as if you had died in the survival but without the uh, fame penalty cost okay the only difference is that you don't lose any of your stats. So essentially, it's like respawning once you've been killed in a game like Call of Duty kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't need uh, this one open anymore. We've actually been through. We've actually gone through a whole entire list of uh, time and facts that I've had. So feel good. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> how? how if you guys were to define the game in like as short of well, as little amount of words as possible, how would you define it? Survival. I would say... <laughs> I would say... He said words, he didn't say word. Okay, survival Open genre world. with a little bit of PvP. No, no. You could have gone with survival world. game if you were... Or you could just go open world survival game. <laughs> there you go. With PvP events. Okay. Boom, there you go. That's, that's summing it up. Right. Yeah, actually, that's a very good sum up of it. I, I was, however, thinking more along the lines of, like, a little bit more context. Okay, fine, I got this. Ready? Yep. Scum. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Wait, 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 wait. Just I got a better one. Prison game of the future. Right. Like, I'm the best here. I'm great at coming up with names. <laughs> Just Ice Gaming is back with us from from before. Welcome back. You you must remember welcome, him. Welcome. Yeah, he's you, our uh, pilot that everybody should uh, definitely <laughs> take up the offer for. <laughs> yeah. Got any? Honestly, got any discounted prices there for your uh, airline tickets? Just Ice. I'm Gaming? not gonna lie. If I ever see By the way, him in game, do you end up going on your airline? I want to make sure I've got a parachute on my back before we take off. <laughs> it, well, I mean, first of all, are we going to have parachutes in the game? But second to that, if I actually see him in the game, I'm going to make a promise right now. If I ever see you in the game and you recognize me, no matter how leveled my character is, no matter the gear I have on me, I will get in that flight knowing I will die and I will accept it. <laughs> this is a promise right now. No, I'm, I'm just going to let you... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna let you know, slave. <laughs> that, you didn't hear me? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. didn't hear me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, but I'm, I'm just gonna casually let you know that um, he's in our in our Discord, so he's probably gonna. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna take you up on that offer. <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh, you just got an M4? <laughs> oh, no, Somebody slave. needs a lift. A slave, don't worry about it. You're gonna be his test run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do like I hope it gives me some time as I'm like blown up in the air, falling from the sky, to where I can just kind of do like a really, you know, five star yell. Yeah. Best ride of my life. He, he His also, manners really blew me away. He's also letting you know that. And then there's me aiming my gun from shore, just seeing if I could snipe you out of the air. <laughs> he's even. <laughs> he's also throwing What's in a say? free flight ticket for you. So, you know, oh my god, I get to take it for free? God, that makes it worth it just by itself. It's awesome to have, have uh, Just Ice Gaming back, though. It is. It's nice to see a familiar face back in here. Yeah, two of them so far Just Ice Gaming and uh, Mike Slurry, who, who uh, uh, was very uh, pleased with the amount of hilariousness in the beginning there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally like, uh, as we're talking about things, I'm scanning for like any bit of information I can bring. 
uh, feel free to uh, ask any questions, guys, for all of you who are in the chat right now. Uh, we're gonna answer them even if we already have answered them before, just because we're we're just relaxing and talking about a game that we really are going to hopefully enjoy. Get our hands on. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. There's no hopefully about that. I'm definitely getting my hands on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Same here, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, There's no doubt about it. Day one. Uh, day one. I'm serious. Yeah. I'll, the or, whole day, I'll be sitting there like course, at this. Or, of course, if the developers somehow manage to find Completely Average Gaming on YouTube and decide, you know what, we're going to casually contact this guy and say, you know what, you should definitely send us an email and ask for a pre-release copy because... You're the kind of person we're looking for for showing yeah, or, off. Yeah, or if they message oh me God. back and be like, they you know what? All Here you go. Copies, or if they gave all of us keys that are on this stream. Oh fuck! Oh, holy the holy smokes! Syntax would. So, uh... Syntax would freak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would. So <laughs> basically, going on to uh, what I brought up earlier in our uh, last stream, when I was talking about getting shot in the arm or something like that, uh, any weapon you have or use, or anything you do with those arms is actually going to take penalties. So you'll be able to <laughs> effectively not use your weapon <laughs> as effectively as you normally would be able to. Uh, you go ahead, Chaotic. Okay, go so what are we talking oh, about okay. now? What, were you, you saying you he could go ahead because he, he was going to talk? <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. If you guys got a question, go right ahead. All right. Uh, no, I mean, it, do you plan on okay. skipping work slash school to play on release? What? No, that's, what that's school? totally what irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you talking about? What is school? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, <laughs> Wait, didn't you say you called in sick or something? No, I did not. I said, uh, I'm yeah. going to be responsible when <laughs> Slave, Slave went ahead and called Next his question. Slave, <laughs> Slave went ahead and called his boss and said, "You know what? I'm gonna be sick uh, between the 29th and the 31st of no. August." That's like the perfect meme that yeah. I picture right yeah. now. You know what's the funny thing? Can you imagine releasing this? Boss is just sitting there like, "Yo, you look sick to me." <laughs> Message is in it. Hey, how you doing, Seth? Like. I'm doing good. How are you? You're late. Late for what? <laughs> Work. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And then I'm... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not feeling well. And then, then, then you're going to be like, all right, guys, so I, I don't know, but I might have just lost my job. <laughs> Would be awesome if you guys could subscribe. You know, Guess what, some... guys? 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, another question here from uh, this time from uh, the first, the last one was from um, Jeremy Stewart. Uh, this one is from Just Eyes Gaming, um, confirmed as a good question by Mike Slurry. What do you guys think is the coolest aspect of the game for each of you, Mr. Smiles? The best, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smiley. <laughs> Not the best. I'm sorry, the Mr. Coolest. Smiles, hands down. <laughs> the coolest aspect. The free plane ticket ride that I got, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, honestly, I think my favorite part about this game is that it took a step further in terms of uh, the metabolism system and uh, how it's really working. And uh, to be even more specific, how your stats are, to be accurate, attributes change dynamically versus like you can lose weight, gain weight, gain muscle, lose muscle. I think that's really cool because it, it kind of adds character development even if it's only just your body that's developing, you know, yeah. even with if they did that as a basic. With that in mind, it's actually also interesting how they're making it so your character physically will look different based on the attributes chosen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope it goes even further, though, with, like you said uh, in the last stream, being able to, uh, the longer your character's live, grow hair. You can't style it just to see, like, a long beard, and you look like the guy, uh, what is it, uh, Tom Hanks from Castaway? <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be I'm, hilarious. I'm, I'm just saying. How's oh, your yeah. beard looking? <laughs> yeah, Fantastic. I got quite a going right now. <laughs> but uh, my favorite aspect would be the whole, I'm going to generalize it a little, the survival aspect, like the metabolism, as you mentioned, and how you have to look after <laughs> all sorts of different 
<laughs> Sorry, I just had a really bad cough that came. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's trying to put on a show for his boss in case they're actually. <laughs> 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 sorry, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> All right. So, um, Just Ice Gaming is uh, also very excited about the ability to customize your character, depth of it, and and the creation uh, of it. It's probably very basic right now. Other than other than the I'm gonna uh, guess he is talking stuff. about what what we already talked about before with the um, you know, uh, intelligence and. Um, oh, okay. So skills instead of the attributes. Or are you talking more in terms of like the, the physical appearance of your character? Yeah. Because if it's physical appearance, right now it's very basic. They've got a couple of yeah. different faces, a couple of different hairstyles. A couple of tattoos. Like 10 or something different tattoos to choose from. Well, let's just go with 10 as a max. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around there. I don't know the exact. Uh, in terms of what skills you're going to have... Uh... Right now, for uh, Dex and Intelligence, Dex is going to have Stealth and Throwing. That's it. No. Intelligence is going to have Awareness, Sniping, Medical, Camouflage, Tactics, Cooking, and Survival. There's obviously more planned for these, and I do have another one with the pictures to other things, but right now that's the only one I have currently pulled up. But uh, I think it's going to definitely vary on your own playstyle and what you want to specialize in. Oh, yeah. But even then, I think everyone's first character... It's kind of be like what they think they want, but then they're going to find out that their play style doesn't really go with what they chose as a skill, and they might just want to die to kind of reconfigure their character's skills to something that they want to do. Like maybe like at one point you're like, I'm going to be a cook, <clears throat> and you try to be a cook, but it just doesn't work out, and you're like, you know what, I actually want to put these skills in driving or something. Or you, you want to be a big, strong guy, and then you realize that you have syntax. Oh. So okay, you guys. Don't need that. I just figured out my job in this game. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna max the driving skill out. And then my language skill is gonna be like, let's say medium. And then I'm gonna put my education all the way up so that I can just learn how to drive the best as fast as possible. Uh, you're gonna be like, so, uh, welcome to the um, game. <laughs> That we're gonna be uh, shooting uh, uh, on the island here, um, in this very vacker um, nature that we can see around you us. Something perfect, slaver. Or slave. I'll sit there, <laughs> slaver. Jesus. Yes, you are the slaver. <laughs> so, in, uh, so what, what, if you make a little partnership with our pilot friend, <laughs> <laughs> you've got the flying Uber with him, and you've got the land Uber with you. Perfect thing here is I drive them to the pilot. We take the loot after. I mean, <laughs> uh, nothing. No, dot dot dot. Okay, I should have said that. <laughs> Okay, as you were saying, Kank, you were about to say something, uh, I believe. Oh, no, I, I, I was I, done, I was done. Yeah, I think we were all done. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Squatch says Mr. Smiles is a cool aspect. Um, and Jeremy Stewart asks another question. Um, do you think micromanagement of nutrition intake and fighting off diseases or figuring out what med medication to take for which will take away from the PvP or actual progression of the game? At least at the beginning, um, from, uh, when they are working out kinks in early access. From what I've seen of the micromanaging of uh, your metabolism, like that you're not going to have to do it, just to put that out real quick, so you don't actually have to worry about that. But if you want to, you can make your person be the most fit and the best person your character can be. And that is going to give you, like, say, your character may be faster, a little bit faster than others, or a little bit stronger in fighting off illness, uh, etc. Like, basic stats like this. So your character will be more healthy than others, but it's not necessarily going to make your character automatically stronger than another person. It's still going to be heavily relied on a person's skill. Uh, actually, with that matter, in fact, uh, with the whole character progression while you're in the game, by doing the whole nutritional factor, you can essentially get your guy up to the point where all of your attributes are maxed out at five. Yeah. But it's still not going to give you, like an overwhelming edge over somebody who's lower. Like, if they have a gun, you're just as susceptible to being shot in the head as somebody who's lower or max stat. Ah, but with a higher endurance, or whatever attribute that was, you can be able reload to and fire a lot faster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll be able to, yeah. 
So you'll but be able to get a lot more bullets out in the basically same time. Basically, you'll have a slight advantage over a player or a, a, a significant one, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to win, is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, so it doesn't it guarantee still you gonna rely win, on but it gives you a bit of an well. advantage. I would still say that the trick is to get just um, just ice gaming on your team to to get the loot uh, from plane stuff. Uh, I mean the the baggage that people leave at the airport. Um, yeah. Uh, with with just ice gaming airlines, and then also get <laughs> uh, also get um, a syntax on on board, uh, so that you have a human shield that you can always hide behind. <laughs> then and then of um, course max into uh reloading your weapon yourself and then you know you want to know what's uh, funny i could technically scare everybody that's going onto the plane to get them to file onto it faster by shooting bullets towards the airstrip <laughs> <laughs> make them think they're under attack so they get in real fast exactly it doesn't give them time to think about how the uber driver drove them to the pilot and the pilot's ready to get them out of there they'll have to leave now because they're being fired at Exactly. Put uh, the but then again, on. wouldn't this count as being trolls and then eventually the people would find out and the game would find out and then we'd get Mr. Smiley's all over the airport? It could. We could just do different airstrips at different times. I mean, I'm just saying, Cycle I could drive away from airstrips. the Mr. Smiley's, but what if they put the Mr. Smiley's on wheels? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm like, Mr. Smiley's rolling me around now? on friggin' rollerblade? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Any any uh, other topics worthy of note? Uh, I'm definitely still looking through. If you're talking to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely looking That's through. Uh, any questions that we have currently? Uh no. No, I might. Yeah, nothing might... here as well. Okay, so... Usually, right after I'll... you ask that, there tends to come up a question or two, though. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll throw oh, yeah, in the fact that... Uh, hearing it. <laughs> just once again, since there's probably new people here, or new people who are going to be watching this video that didn't see the other one, or maybe, you know, wanted to just see this one or pop in and then leave, there's going to be organs that are going to be put in your body, uh, for example, the heart, the liver, the pancreas, etc., that are actually going to count as critical hits in a sense, where if you hit there, it's going to be way more effective than if you just shot them in the hand or the arm. AKA, they can die faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I, everybody's quiet, so, like, every time, like, I look awesome, like, am I saying anything, or? Do the head shake. Do it. <laughs> Okay, uh, here's for clans teaming or partnering up. Uh, if you decide to join up with other players that have different skills, obviously, or abilities, this is going to help you survive longer, have a wider range of what you're able to do, a.k.a. classes to a certain extent. We went over this in the last video, but I just want to go over it briefly again. Uh, just buzz past it. Basically, what I assume by this is you're probably going to have, like uh, Chaotic Rob said earlier, a lot of people trying to be medics. Personally, I don't really know if I'm going to be a medic or not, because it seems like it's going to be something that a lot of people are going to do. And, I mean, maybe I go for something more uh, out there, something that most people aren't going to do. Specialize in sniping, for example. Yeah. I think people will do that as well. But, I mean, what if you specialize in sniping at the beginning, and how long is it going to take for you to find a sniper? Ah, but there will be snipers available regularly in the events. Yes, but then so say you get a rifle, but you don't get the scope. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you. I can hold my breath for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd find a solution, I'm sure. I mean, snipers are also stealthy, so you could go for the takedown. Oh, right. here's something that's good for everybody to know. Um, since all the skills are not going to be available right at launch or uh, before the EA mm -hmm. phase, they're going to make it to where. Uh, until they include all skills in the game, players are going to be able to edit their characters up to a certain level. For example, when new skills arrives, uh, you might be able to switch existing skills for that one. Hmm. Oh, nice. So, you know, uh, I've got it, a question here uh, yeah, from IMJ Sync. How will they prevent overpowered teaming, like in groups of over 10? I know okay, we so answered this, this is, earlier, uh, but if you guys want yeah, to go Yeah, we can go over that again. That again. Uh, basically... 
well, what I had read is that they wanted groups to be in a team of eight, and they don't want them to ally with other people. And pretty much how they're going to counter this is if they do it, they may, may consider a ban, but I'll go into that after this. But they're most likely going to do is send some smileys, the big robots, after uh, these groups who do that, or send, like, a horde or a good amount of number of uh, certain puppets that will be able to effectively be a struggle for this uh, group of people that are teaming up. It's, they and should send something that's going to be hard for them to do that. Because we all just, we all talked about it earlier, how we don't think you should be banned or directly punished for doing this, because it is a survival place, and your prisoners, and they're bound to actually work together to try and leave the island or just stay alive on the island. So we think that the way to counter this would be to effectively send either other players after this group, yeah. or, like I said, some, kind, uh, some type of AI that will be able to at least be a threat to them. Yeah, or uh, PMC. And be very oh, hard to take down. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I also have a couple of questions. Um, yeah, what's up? Do we know the size of largest of the largest city, or is there only going to be small towns? You know what? If you give me one second, I can actually check, because there will be a big city and then uh, smaller ones, but I can actually check that right now. That was from... But, um, uh, continue going on, and I'll look SHW. this up. That plus there's also going to be quite a few hidden bases as well. Not oh, to yeah. mention airstrips, and the bunkers, um, etc. And the, uh, uh, the the people with guns. <laughs> yes, lots guns. of people with guns. <laughs> uh, I meant the forty-four. By that 45, I mean uh, the, the, the PMCs, AIs, the NPCs. Type of, yeah, the the base type of. Uh, like uh, the PMC honestly, base. I think uh, finding out this information on how big the map is would take a lot of time than we would have today. All right. Um, but we also got a, a, another question from, um, SHDW yeah. Squatch. Uh, speculation on crafting materials for ghillie suit. They are confirmed. Oh. Oh, wait, you can actually do a ghillie suit? Nice. The ghillie I, suit will be in the game, yes, but it's not going to be on release. Oh. Well. Uh, yep. Hmm. <laughs> It'll be a little bit after you're the You know what? You're such <laughs> a joy killer. It's like, Fine, you know here I am having fun, and then you come in and you just... <laughs> oh, oh, you want the ghillie suit? Oh, yeah. It's not going to be there. <laughs> um, yeah. Is there any other questions that we're currently uh, looking on? Not on my side. Actually, I have uh... a really good thing that might be of interest to everybody here listening and to you guys. Basically, the clan slash team feature is going to have a challenge system, eventually. Which is, the person who created the clan is obviously the clan leader. Now, say you and I make a clan, CAG, and you were like, you know what, I'm tired of his leadership. I want to take over. You can challenge me for the leadership position. Whether and that I means win. I leave... The, yeah, whether I... Okay, <laughs> we'll find out. But uh, whether, uh, <laughs> whether it means I actually get directly kicked from the team or I just move to second or just below, I'm unsure of that. But I do know second can challenge the first. But nobody else below second can challenge the leader. But they can challenge the person who's in second and then challenge the leader. This is like a higher... So, I can see it being a system yeah. where the person that wins, if it wasn't the leader becomes the leader and then the leader falls back below second and then the new leader gets to appoint a new second well if you're the leader i'm assuming you can appoint a second well th and then, th uh, that, that's what i mean because basically it's, what's going on with it is the second per like the second person in the clan is the only person you can challenge the first mm -hmm. so any then the only way to challenge the first is by beating second so anyone below the second person can challenge the second person and if they win they can challenge the first but well, if, well, if you I mean just drop down to one tier, we're talking about a, a game that is heavily focused on killing your opposition, right? So if you are at the first and number two takes you out, you drop down to number two, you're out of gear, you're out of everything, what's the chance you're going to just fall through? Well, obviously bottom? that can happen, obviously. Oh, no, what because... I'm talking about is if your number two comes and beats you, you wouldn't drop to number two. You drop to base yeah, three. Yeah, you you would probably and then drop the to below. The new leader would appoint a new number two. Honestly, though, I think that's what's really hard about this is ouch. 
hopefully that wasn't heard. That was my alarm. But uh, basically, what I think the problem is, they I don't think it's going to be direct kill this person or not, because if they kill him, obviously they're out of the group because they're a new character. <laughs> now, what are they, are they going to do, like, at a certain type of event that, like, say you walk up to, like, number two walks up to number one, and, like, Cag's like, you know what, I'm sick of you slave to the games, you're done. Come on. And he's like, and it's like, a duel has been initiated. And then we can, like, fight Edo, and then it, like, it goes to, like, where we knock each other out or something, or are we going to kill each other? Like for this spot, like, can we control what we do? Like, can we control the circumstances of the duel to consider this? Do we have to kill each other, or can we just knock each other out? I could see them doing something where it's only getting you down to half health, kind of thing. Yeah, or tapping out. I think it should should go all the way down to either a knockout, being able to give up. Yeah. Uh, I do have a question about our current topic from Zesty Scanner. Yeah, what's up? How often can you challenge for a position? I have no idea. I don't have information on the challenge system other than what I just laid out. Uh, do you guys? No, no, nothing from what I've heard. Okay, unfortunately, I won't be able to answer that now then. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, Zesty Scanner. Thought I'd at very least ask about it. Um, okay, Max Flurry says he's uh, ready to sit on top of a mountain with a scope and a ghillie suit and kill people. Um, remember hey, though, one thing you have to remember is, <laughs> well, okay, there's actually a problem with that, but okay, sounds well, like Eric's we'll gonna problem. die though. <laughs> if you're on top of a mountain, why would you need a ghillie suit? I mean, you're not really gonna blend into the mountain when there's no grass Be- around you. Because a ghillie suit is cool, right? <laughs> you, don't, you don't need a better reason. Also, you know, I mean, honestly, now we have uh, that means that chaotic, you're out now. We have a McSlurry for the. <laughs> Sniping and pushing yeah, people sorry, into the chaotic. plane. We, we don't need you anymore. Yeah, so, oh, so I knew this would happen. McFlurry <laughs> will push people onto the plane. Just Eyes Gaming is gonna do his plane thing and uh, whatever that Uber. might be. I bring the people there. And you'll okay, you'll be amongst the I'll people be the there. Helping hand with the Uber <laughs> driver. You know, my question. You know, being on top of a high tower or something like that would actually be a pretty good place if you have your stealth max. Because I mean, they have to look directly at you. Max, and then someone would have to have maxed awareness and look directly at you to see that you're up there. Well, wouldn't, so, I mean, that, wouldn't it be a natural? Repeat, right? Wouldn't it be a natural point to look at though? Well, yeah, but say, okay, but like say this: how far say they're away maxed stealth though, and they're laying down, and they say like I'm right below. The, I climb on top of a building, and then I look up at the tower, and my awareness is lower than his max stealth. I'm not going to see him, right? Sure. Because his his stealth is higher than my awareness. I mean, obviously, I think there's a certain distance, like I brought up in the previous uh, stream, where the closer you get, the more that uh, difference in skill starts uh, deteriorating, because you're almost right in front of them, to the point where, like, now you're standing in front of them, and now you know, like, you, it's realistically, there's no way you could stand in front of somebody and be invisible. Fair point, fair point. And then, <laughs> the awkward pause returns. <laughs> uh, uh, another thing is, you can, uh, oh. Squatch um, says, uh, what challenge takes place, though? Some are more skilled than others in some areas. I honestly don't know on this. I'm assuming it's going to do something to do with either a direct duel where you either just fist fight each other or fight each other to the death or something along the events. So- something like that. Maybe, maybe it could literally be as simple as everybody puts up a vote, everybody votes, and then there you go. That, that could literally be the challenge system. <laughs> sure, sure. There must be some kind of. I have a feeling it'll probably be more of a fist fight than anything. Yeah, else. I, I, it would be cool though if it was like more of a duel thing. I would say there has to be a shiv of some sort. It'd uh, be cool involved. if there's espionage. Like yeah. if, like, say you disagree Ooh, with the nice. vote and you come up behind the person and you're like, "If you don't agree with me." <laughs> <laughs> I think just in the middle of the night, like, hey, Chaotic Rob. Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, this is for disagreeing with me. <laughs> also, well, they do plan to implement stealth kills, so you never know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, also, Chaotic. Oh, it be stealth. Chaotic, you're back on as a spotter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a role yet, though. I, I, I can play God. Okay. No, 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 I got you. You could be the person who changes the radio station in my car. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? You can give, that, you can give running commentary. You, you, <laughs> and bore your passengers to death? Are we going to have two death traps? 
<laughs> <laughs> See, uh, this is it, you bore them so much that they're not expecting what happens next. They just want the ride to be over, so they hurry up. That's true. We, once they're all so, out of the vehicle, that that's means, when I start shooting to get them into the plane as quick as possible. But that means you wouldn't <laughs> need either the shooters or the plane because they'd be. No, it speeds it up though, even faster. Or to no, death. No, because because what we're doing is we're giving them a false sense of security. What you guys are doing in the vehicle is you're boring them. So they become nice, calm, wait, wait, and wait. relaxed. Everybody hold on. Oh if, if we ever find a sailboat, can we all please ride the sailboat and listen to Pirates of the Caribbean music? Oh, yeah. I'm down with that. Okay, Only if you do run it aground. I'm also going to drive and then drift. <laughs> I'm going to try to drift around something while listening to that song. It goes, gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> and since this oh, proximity chat, can you just imagine... Being in the game, and then all she has gotta go fast, gotta go faster, faster. <laughs> I could see you doing that in a freaking car around the lake in the middle of the island. Oh, yeah. God. Somebody's gonna. Uh, going just, around the lake. <laughs> just imagine all the. Uh, this is us just having a black screen and talking about the game. Imagine how yeah. ridiculous the uh, the actual gameplay is gonna be. We're not gonna be. You know, we say we're that. Gonna be, we're gonna be playing, you know, the, the fifth live stream. Each the five live streams will be lasting for like an hour or two. The fifth live stream, we finally get our stick. We say that now, but like, watch, we like get in and then we're like, okay, guys, what we got to do is be very quiet because somebody's near us and we got to make sure we don't die. So let's hide in the bushes and wait here for 10 minutes, not saying anything. <laughs> and then there's me. Hello, I'm over here. <laughs> when that guy runs, hey guys, hey everybody. <laughs> Oh, and, and before you shoot me, remember that I have five friends here that don't have any he'll equipment. Like, he'll be like, okay, before you do anything, I'm not the only person here. <laughs> <laughs> Would be awesome if you could take out the others as well. Cheers. Say hello to my little friends and nobody gets up. I, I ain't gonna lie. I if I'm ever in a I situation in Chaotic Rock, <laughs> get surrounded and he's, he gets caught, and I'm in the bushes, and I know I can make a beeline for those woods. I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be, and I wouldn't I'm gonna be lining myself up straight behind Chaotic and running. <laughs> no, no, you can't run straight. you got to be like... Zigzagging it? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you know what I'll throw? You with your zigzag. Okay. I will throw a rock at them as far as I can from the bushes. That will be my retaliation before I run. <laughs> oh no! The funny thing is, is if you're on the direct opposite side of me <laughs> from where they are, just throw the rock over top of my head so it looks like it's coming from my head. You know what? I changed my <laughs> mind. You just need to talk so much that they don't kill you right away. <laughs> Up to them with a shiv. <laughs> <laughs> I I could probably pull that off. <laughs> You as long as they don't run up and shift me immediately anyways. You gotta roll a high charisma, dude. Oh yeah. Dude, dude. Every time I play D D, I always have a charisma of eighteen to twenty. Uh okay, yeah, so another thing is uh with the level one character. You're gonna be able to drink water from water pumps, wells, rivers, ponds, and you're gonna be able to fill bottles on these same locations. As well as you're gonna be able to eventually uh get something to collect rain. Important question. Yeah, what's can up? you brew your own liquor and beer and such? I have no idea, though I have seen that in the forums, and it wasn't actually answered yet. So no word from the devs yet. Yeah, no word from that. Sorry. Um, you can't drink salty water, guys, but you're gonna eventually be able to purify water. Will drones potentially give people's location away if spotted floating above someone sneaking? Yes, yes, probably. Well, not, <laughs> that's not confirmed, probably. but it's probably going to happen. It is confirmed because they show it happening quite a few times during their little live. Well, yeah, I mean, that's gonna, but it's not always going to happen, though. That's because it won't always happen. Like, if you get your stealth level high enough, you can actually evade being in the drone's sight. Sure. So uh, it's yes. probably. But, but, to counteract we... that, you can counter that with high enough stealth. But yeah. also relevant, uh, didn't we um, talk about before that the drones <laughs> can also be controlled by players? Players as yes. viewers. Was that confirmed, or did we say that was uh, something that was? No, in the I works? don't know. I oh, that that's actually confirmed. The devs okay. have confirmed that when events are active, players that are not actually participating in the event 
and control the drones that are watching the event. Oh, also, here's a good one. So For you when you're can control a drone... Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Finish. You were in the middle of something. Uh, so when an event is happening, players that are not in, participating in the event can control the drone, fly it around, and literally troll the people that are in the event by hovering right in front of them, blocking their field of view if you wanted to, just to be an SDFU. <laughs> Well, or uh, to troll people that are camping to give away their location. Before I continue on to the fact that I was going to say, going off of what you just said, if, say, you have any basic amount of stealth, if you're already hidden, can the drone just automatically sense you? Uh, because, it sure, it can, to... it can see people moving, and but is it... Like, obviously, you will have to eventually level your stealth up to a certain level to where you won't be able to see be seen by the drones. But is it you have to have it like say level five before you can't be seen by the drones? I want to or I want to say that you should be able to be seen by the drone regardless of what level of yeah you're on. Because I do know that the, the, you will be able to hide from the drones eventually. Now the question to that is: Will it really be stealth based, or will you be able to program or hack into like a terminal or the drones themselves to make yourself invisible to them, or hack into your BCU to make yourself invisible to the drones? Yeah, is that, that what it's going to be, be like? Because cool. I would I would say that if you're going to be able to hide from the drones, which as you said is confirmed that you can, it should be a combination of stealth because you can't be seen on the camera. And hacking your BZU in order to not send out a signal as to where exactly you are. Okay. And then also after that, uh, if you're looking directly at somebody, they're not going to be able to do the camo skill in front of you. So they won't just disappear in front of you. <laughs> they have to disappear from anyone's sight before they can go camo again. And that means if one person's looking at you and another person's looking at you, you move out of one person's view. If that other person still sees you, you ain't going camo. <laughs> Run through the bush is all I gotta say. <laughs> How many different guns are in the game? Around 15 at release. From Frequently Plays. Uh, from what? That was a question from Frequently Plays. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's around 15 and, at release. And we've uh, speculated a little as to what kind of weapons we can see in the game at release, although that is not confirmed. Yeah, uh, we kind of just literally... Uh, I think I think a good example for the guns would be to kind of just take PUBG as an example. Kind of take like basic guns from PUBG, and like that's probably going to be the basic guns that are going to be in the game right now before being built up to have more. Yeah, I'd say a, a pistol or two, submachine gun, maybe like three assault uh, rifle, like two rifles maybe that you could add scopes to. Yeah, um, uh, I, I think and... it's probably going to be like four or five rifle, four or five different types of rifles. Uh, probably one or two different shotguns and maybe like five or six different types of pistols. Somewhere okay. around there. I, I would say uh, okay, but... I, I would say like a couple of pistols, a couple of submachine guns, just a couple of assault rifles, a couple of uh bolt bolt action rifles. Uh and after that I don't know. Guys, there might be a bow or a crossbow, remember that. Uh, well I wouldn't really include they, that in didn't guns. They like, talk I didn't about put that a bow? in improvised weapons. Because you have they to might have. Well, no, no, it didn't actually say, it didn't actually specify, like, guns. It just said how many, like, weapons are you going to get? It's around 15 primary weapons. <laughs> like, but, they never specified, say, it was 15 guns. And I think, so I I think they talked about a bow, bow, actually. But I might be mistaken. <laughs> it was I, just I mean, a, it would be so knows. funny if they included a slingshot in that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you may have, have a gun. Question. But I have a slingshot. I see your minigun there. Gets you right in the eye. <laughs> I see your minigun there. Do you think they'll eventually add a minigun? Hmm? Do you think they'll eventually add a minigun? I, I would say if the hordes get big enough, that would be awesome. Imagine just... Can you imagine, like, I, I <laughs> mean, rushing a base? To me, this is sort of like my ultimate dream. Because imagine, say, Game of Thrones, right? You have yeah. thousands of people with swords and... and Shields facing each other. Imagine just lying there with a minigun, being like, <laughs> "Your uh, minigun's kind of quiet." Yeah, man. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, oh, it'd probably be uh, something closer to this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think to add on to that that you'll be able to put placeable turrets? That would That'd also be awesome. Be interesting. That's, that's included defense? in fortifications. Yeah. Uh, so while we're on the topic of defenses, uh, I've got a question here from Zesty Scanner. Traps in the game. 
What do you guys think the different traps will be that are in the game at the moment? Bear trap, fish Snare. trap, snare, claymore. Let's hope for a claymore in C4. Yeah, because really they haven't talked too much about what the different traps are in the game at the moment. No, they FYI. haven't. They just confirmed there would be traps. <laughs> In, yeah. in accordance with the Geneva Convention, they can't add claymores. No! I call ball to that. Uh, don't worry. The Geneva uh, Convention, what the hell is ca that? Chaotic, chaotic, uh, sorry, uh, Slave can actually play with it, because he's from the States. They didn't sign it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be the one. Like, okay, so anybody got anything? I'm like, I got a claymore. <laughs> uh, we can. It's, it's just a... Uh, you you can't... guys can't touch it, but I can. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Uh, well, don't forget, it's not governments that are controlling this island. It's oh, hey guys, they don't Here give two shits about laws and whatnot. Pipe That's bomb, hmm? pipe bomb. It's something you could craft and improvise as an. Ex How about a dirty bomb? A dirty, mm, dirty, that, that, dirty that'd bomb. That'd be hard to get into the game. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, basically, I think it'd just be like trip wires and like basic traps like that, like maybe spiked walls. Yeah, maybe maybe also Although some. Although it would uh, be interesting if they implement some kind of like a pitfall trap. You know, maybe they'll have like uh, cans tied to a string, so if somebody like goes across <laughs> it, <laughs> makes some sound. It's kind of like an alert trap, where it just yeah, lets you know yeah. that somebody's there. Or or um. That'd actually be very easy. To make I'm not too. sure what you call them in in English. Uh, we call them uh, least plus in Norwegian. It's like a light thing. It's it's like a uh, you spin a wire across somewhere. When someone walks across it, it like fires off a light and also like. Yeah, that, that's that's an alert trap. Yeah. Uh, what, <laughs> what happens is it doesn't actually do any damage to either yourself or the person going through it. No. It just alerts everybody in the area that somebody's there. Hmm. Yeah. It's actually used as a um, as an actual mine in uh, in in training. Do you think they have smoke grenades at release, or do you think that's going to be a little bit later? I think that and might be later. The better question is, do you think they'll have the hornet's nest, where you throw in a bunch of pellets just hit everywhere and, like, can stun people or something? Like, you know, in real prison. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say that a real prison would be the the benchmark, exactly, for I don't know, but, you know, it's, it's prison-related. Sure. <laughs> Oh, stun you want it to add shanks. There doesn't have to be shanks. When we'll get a taser. Like, Maybe. Uh, so I got a question here. I bet you. Okay. MC Slurry. How do you guys feel about the rating being lockpicking and not explosive related? Like, like for when you're rating, you have to lockpick instead of like blowing through their defense? Uh, well, I, I think that's what the question is implying. Is this confirmed? Like, is it... Confirm that it's you have to pick lock, or can you destroy their defenses? Like, is it have I, to be I, confirmed you have to pick lock? I have a feeling that it's probably going to be both as options, so you can. Yeah, I think it's going to be both too. But door, let's just uh, let's assume just... it's just pickpocketing, uh, pick locking. I mean, for just for this question, uh, if it was just pick locking, I would probably be disappointed. I would. Yeah, that would, would make it a lot harder. Yeah, because if I have like all this gear, I want to be able to say I get a grenade. Or some form of explosive, and I'm able to do that, or I'm able to just damage it with a gun or something. I'm gonna want to shoot the hell out of that base, and I'm gonna want to blow it up. I'm gonna want to tape a couple of kilos of C4 on there and see what happens. <laughs> couple of kilos. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't care about anything else in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's another interesting uh, fact: is uh, you're gonna actually have to. Uh, to uh, add, there's gonna be uh, gun maintenance added to this, so you're actually gonna have to take care of your weapon so that, that it doesn't jam cool. or malfunction. I heard it yesterday, and I found it super cool. I, I am okay with this. Yeah, no, it definitely adds to the realism. And it's also it. gonna bring uh, obviously bring weapons in the... are gonna be hard to find too. Yeah, and the, it's also uh, gonna bring in the whole you know all too familiar military slogan. There are many rifles like it, but this rifle is mine. <laughs> Well, uh, thing I've is, also uh, got a situation where if you fire the gun and it's not clean, or if you have a good, or if you have like a very poor marksman skill, it might misfire. Exactly, there's misfire, which uh, makes also it thing, a lot more important. Another thing that you can add is the loot here. 
Uh, it's going to be placed uh, pretty much where you would kind of expect something to be found. Pretty much if you go to a police uh, station, you're going to assume there's going to be some guns there, or at least a gun there, or maybe a vest or something. It's, it's going to seem relatable to the area you're in. That's what oh my god, for, I so still want to find a riot shield or something. I don't think you'd find, a, like, like, I don't think riot armor is going to be in the game right now, but it might, but I don't think you'll find riot armor in a fishing shed way out in the boonies that nobody visits, but, you know, maybe you do. Well, if, if you think about it in the context of a prisoner finding the riot gear and then bringing it with them out there and then getting killed at some point, that would make sense. Yeah. As to um, why I can also uh, say that most of the early game you're going to be in have you rely on combat skill and uh, fighting with melee weapons. Yeah. It, it's probably going to take a while to effectively have weapons, and then even if you find weapons, have enough ammo to where you're going to want to use it, because it's probably going to be like you find a gun, maybe like three bullets, and then you have to slowly build up your stash of ammo over time. Well, not and only then, that. Then you'll feel comfortable only... just wasting ammo on people. <laughs> that, plus, in this game... You're not only going to have to find the ammo and the gun, but you're also going to have to find the clips. If you don't have the clips, you have to load the bullets in one at a time. Makes sense. Uh, Squatch also asks, uh, how many floors, rooms will be will the largest buildings have? And I will I, add to I that don't with, know right. what do we know about the buildings? No. Like, what, what do I know about any of the buildings? You can yeah, get like, on the roof. In general. <laughs> There's going to be a cathedral? <laughs> There's going to be an monastery with uh, hangers. <laughs> there will be shelters and uh, military uh, outposts. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess I could go back to like uh, oh, when you're gonna be able to find certain. Uh, I already you're gonna be able to said find that. Certain that you'll be able to take over, <laughs> and then you'll have to actually, in order to keep them running, you'll actually have to find uh, a generator and fuel to keep this running, and you'll actually be able to have to fix the places that you take over. So, I mean, other than that, uh. I don't know too much about the buildings themselves. But I know there will be at will least all buildings 10 be places. 10 times. Um, uh, that so is also something buildings, I can't 100% confirm. So with the buildings in mind, I'm just going to mention that they are not destructible with the exception of the windows and doors. So the windows yeah, and doors I, I can would, be destroyed. I would have to agree for that right now. But the buildings cannot be destroyed themselves. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to stick with that. I don't we'll think uh, the buildings will be able to be destroyed. We'll see how it goes with a couple of kilos of C4. But then again, the question here is, if you have to mend and repair the places you find, like the walls and stuff, doesn't it mean that they can be destroyed? But maybe they can well, get, I, like, bullet I damage and such. So that repairs and you can not yeah, because bullets them. can travel through certain things. Yeah. Like, and and based oh. upon how how destroyed damaged a wall is, the easier it is to hit what's in on on the other side, or you can see through, or I don't know. Well, what, I, no, what I'm talking sense. about is more in terms of structural integrity, causing the building to fall yeah, down. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm curious yeah. because, like I said, you have to mend walls. Like in most of the times I heard about fortifying, it's just fortifying the windows or the door or like pathways in. It, Same uh, here. When it said uh, to when you get into a place and you have to maintain it. It was it actually mentioned mending the walls and repairing the walls. So maybe in like these specific main areas where like clans should actually take over here, that's gonna be like uh let's say uh staged pretty much is the word. Like it's staged to have already been broken down, and then you just like bring the required wall and then it just builds it up like instantly. And then there you go, the wall's there again. But then it could be destroyed and it goes back to the state it was at beforehand. You know, or maybe it something could be like a situation that. Situation where the drywall gets damaged because of the bullets flying through, but the actual framing itself stays up and remains undamaged. Oh. That would take away any issues regarding structural stability, kind of thing. Hmm. Uh, just Ice Gaming. Um, just uh, asked, how long have you guys been following the development of Scum? Uh, for uh, me specifically, three months. But about since then, every day. <laughs> yeah, about two months for me. I I came across it about I want to say a year ago. I might be stretching that a little. Um, like <laughs> I don't know, New Year's maybe. Um, but I haven't been following it religiously since then. It's uh, been... I can tell you. 
in this last week, I've now put up to th- around 30 something hours now. It, like it was 20 something, but now it's 30 something hours into looking up facts that the developers have confirmed themselves. And uh, as I mentioned before in the last one, I do currently have a daily series going where I release uh, about 13 minutes of facts on the game. Like straight up things that the devs have uh, said themselves is either going to be a future plan or facts coming out. So if you check out my series, and obviously I think uh, Complete Ever Gaming, if uh, you actually start doing that as well, I mean, your streams will be there, but I don't know if you actually have an information series going like I do. I, I have uh, more spur-of-the-moment type of videos, like um, are we excited about Scum or um, release date speculations, and then unfortunately the release date dropped the following day. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think between uh, you and me at least, it covers yours, your speculation videos, my yep. information videos and then combining those you should be able to learn a lot between the two and then when the let's when we're able to actually play and stream you're going to be able to actually see hands-on footage of the game that isn't already pre-recorded or played by the devs or you know the early access that certain streamers or youtube content creators will get yeah that plus all of us on here plan to do quite a few hours rated yeah I, my my channel oh, itself yeah. uh at completely average gaming syntex toxie and chaotic rob were all playing to at the very least, stream as much as possible. I know myself and Completely Average Gaming are going to be releasing videos on YouTube as well, aside from the streaming. So there's going to be a lot of content between us all where you're going to see a lot of different angles. And we're not always going to be playing together. So while you will see us together, you're most likely going to see us on different times where we're playing with our, like solo or with a totally different group or with other players. So our gaming styles will change if we're playing with each other versus if we're not. Uh, I, I also, uh, the link I just dropped in the chat is for, um, Slave to the Games, um, the videos you, you were talking about, your daily, um... Thank you. Daily yeah, videos. I just linked your channel as well. There's five of them right now, tomorrow will be the sixth. It's going all the way up till release, where I might change it to uh, weekly. I might even change it now, weekly, because I'm, <laughs> I've released a lot of information, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I linked your fourth one, I think. Oh, that's reason. okay. They could, I if thought they I find the it, they'll one. be able to backtrack. Yeah, or yeah, or especially fourth. considering we've been but. streaming for how many hours now? Yeah, we're I coming mean, up all, on six all total. Of the, <laughs> all of the releases and uh, videos are, have separate content, and sometimes backtrack when I found something that changes or something that I add on to something I previously said. Yeah, slave. I can see you turning this what almost eight-hour stream into easily. <laughs> I'd say 15, 20, if not 30 different little mini 10 minute uh, videos. I don't know. I mean, I could definitely rewatch this and see some new things because of what you guys have brought to the table as well. Obviously, there's information uh, you, uh, Complete Average Gaming, Syntex Toxie, and uh, Chaotic Rob have brought that I didn't know about that I learned about. But the thing is, is most of the things that I've said or brought up have been directly from my uh, list of uh, information I found, which I'm using in my video. But that's not to say you won't learn anything new. I, like I said, I have a ton of information and over 20 plus hours into the already released videos and I have about 10 plus hours uh, added to that with the fifth video release. They're, they're around 13 minutes. They're not all like 10 plus hours. Unlike <laughs> <laughs> um, my typical streams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my, my, my typical streams usually go from five hours <sighs> to 10 hours per stream. So guys, I got a I got a notification. Uh, I'm out of content that I have wrote down. We've we've gone through all of the content I researched in my 30 plus hours of reading the forums. And we did that in six hours. How do you feel about that? Yep. Well, it's <laughs> actually hours, pretty good because I mean I mean imagine the imagine the time that we just put into to the stream, and I'm still going to be adding into the daily videos. I mean. That's, that's some videos I'll get, because not everybody's going to watch the stream, and it's also going to be long, so if they want a shorter period of time, where yeah. it's a short amount of time versus information, here we go. Absolutely. Um, uh, so if anybody out there on any of our stream has any questions or whatnot they want answered, or... Subscribe to me. <laughs> or that doesn't already have an answer, we can look into trying to get answers for you. So if you post those up while we're in the stream right now, we can look into that. Oh yeah. Or or in the did he disappear? What do you mean? Chaotic? Chaotic? I don't know, I'm here. Uh, no, you, he just stopped talking. Oh, uh, you I'm dropped here. in the middle of a sentence for me. 
Yeah, you were just like, you're just like, so and it was yes, I was like, yeah, now you know how we felt yeah, but, all yeah, but, evening, <laughs> Mr. Slave. Hey, you know what? I'm sorry. It wasn't that bad until the second stream. It happened occasionally, but the second stream was really bad. Sure. <laughs> you ever want to uh, talk? <laughs> I'm actually currently going as I go through and looking at the new posts on uh, the forum to see if there's anything new that I can find while we're talking. Um, Watch uh, said, I heard about Scum when they were looking for people to send in all their info about uh, info stuff about their body weight and shit. Uh, which means he's been here for over a year. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not sure if it's body weight and shit or if it's, you know, body weight and shit. You know? Hmm. If it's, uh, I could see it did, being did they body send weight in... and physical shit. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> Is, 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 did they send in data on both of those or just one and you know with I... more stuff <laughs> I'm sorry it's it's five o'clock in the morning here I'm I'm no it's I fight you and everything now so uh, here's something uh for cosmetic items like for visual it's like clothing glasses hats uh shoes etc they're uh they're gonna think about adding cosmetics and stuff like that to the game once uh, they have the basic stuff they want in filled out and working, they want to have bugs eradicated for the most part, servers being stable, the community be happy with the state of the game before leaving EA or after. Since that's really the bottom of their priority right now, they kind of want play mechanics to be their top priority and make sure that's all fleshed out before they start adding the additional features and moving on towards uh, future developments. I love that you just mentioned the state of the game uh, because Just Eyes Gaming just posted i'm curious what y'all think about the idea of you maybe doing a state of the game monthly podcast or bi-weekly or something when the game comes out run debate uh, i definitely think a monthly one would be better than like a day or right. bi-weekly because it's going to take some time for major changes and if we do monthly we can be like okay this is everything that changed we can see the change logs like we'll be able to open up the change logs and say okay this is what's changed since a month after the game's been released. I would yeah, say... Per personally, I think it should happen along lines with whenever they do the updates. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, that would if, fit if, too. If they do the updates weekly, yes, I could see a weekly log for that. If I could see it, but uh, if we did that, that, we might have to... Like, if we're narrowing it down to just what's changed during each update, whether how... Like, if we do it, like, say, however long or far away it is, <laughs> the updates... Between the updates... We'd have to keep it short and simple to the point, and not like like explain what changed, explain what we think of it. Like each of us give our opinion, what we think it's doing to the game, if it's good or bad, what they should do to improve it, or if it's just fine as is, and then just kind of maybe have a few talks uh, about what we thought about how it affected the gameplay, and then kind of leave it there, and then uh, move on towards the next thing we want to do. Because if we're going to talk about the updates, we want it to be just about the updates and not really anything else. Yeah. And you know when it saying? comes to the updates, I think we should also, if possible, test out the mechanics that they're introducing. For example, oh, yeah. if they're oh, introducing Oh, definitely. The I mean, I don't think you should not test out the mechanics. Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying, saying in the stream. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, you like, could. Depending on the mechanics, some a lot of them will be able to be tested live. Yeah, I mean, because some of them Show might the not be. Like, maybe we have to be, like, 20 levels higher. For example, obviously, there's no really level system, but 20 levels higher to reach it. We're obviously not going to be able to do that in the stream. Well, yeah, that's why I said... Yeah. To an extent, I agree. Can. Good uh, talk. Basically, <laughs> since I, well, yeah, I know. I was, I was going to mention, like, since I ran out of, like, content or anything to, like, just throw out questions and facts left and right, it's like every time we talk about something, it's like, so, yes, yeah, so this happens in the game, then... Dot, dot, dot. And then we're going to do... <laughs> 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 because now we really have to rely on looking on random information. Our own uh, thoughts have become up, and we've gone over so much that it's really it's it's probably hard right now to come up with uh, brand new topics that we haven't already talked about already. Yeah. It's... So we're pretty much trying to come up with other ones while looking for information at the same time, and then waiting for questions. <laughs> uh, but I think uh, uh... for my part, I think it's uh, getting close to the end of the end of the line for tonight. I, I definitely think so. Uh, I do think right now yeah, we should be looking up questions. It, and it's, it's getting not pretty late. We don't really have anything. It's getting pretty <laughs> late. It's like four or five for you, right? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about for completely average over here. 
<laughs> it's, it's getting early for him, not late. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, I can see the sun coming up in the window there. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I think I can see light coming from the window. <laughs> Just to your right, completely average. <laughs> I need this confirmed. <laughs> Come on, man, look outside. Tell us if you can see the sun. Uh, there's, I think he's ignoring us. There's no sun out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Okay. Um. Well, I guess we can go for any last thoughts. Yeah. I. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, Squatch had some some troubles uh, posting something and um, posting a link in the chat. So I tried upping him to moderator at this point. Um, possibly a temporary position. <laughs> just to see if uh, if that helps. Okay. What is he trying to post? Is he trying to post a link or? Yeah, I'm not sure where he wants to put, uh, what kind of link it is, but as far as it's, as long as it's not to some triple uh, X type of site, it's. Um, <laughs> I'm most oh wait, yeah, actually, so just get him uh, to direct. I do message. got another fact, guys. There's actually gonna be different weapon masteries. It's the Steam the Steam community announcement um, thing. It, what? <laughs> Something about Steam, that's all I heard. Yeah, it's uh, to the Steam community? What do you mean? I'm confused. Uh, uh, well, uh, I can, I'll, I'll do oh, it okay. here. In... I got two more uh, facts as well that I just recently picked up. Go. Uh, one of them being, the blood spill in this game has been reworked. You know, for the Unreal Engine, it wasn't really that good at the beginning. If you saw it, it kind of just was like... It's apparently been reworked, so it's probably going to look a little bit better. And then also, there is eventually going to be events where you can take your own personal gear in and risk losing your gear while gaining other gear. That's going to suck. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you've spent, uh, you, you've, spent, you've spent, you know, 50 hours getting your stuff together and getting your character into shape, and then you go for a team death match. <laughs> Come on, the losing uh, team. Obviously, guys, uh, you're not going to have multiple characters on one server either. It's just one. Yeah. Just in case anybody needed that confirmed. Oh, here it is, guys. Uh, yeah, They said they're, they're still debating whether they want to let people, when they transfer their character to another server, when that feature is eventually put in, if they put it in, to be able to keep some of their skills, but nowhere at all of them, like I said earlier. So now it is confirmed they're only going to allow you to keep some of them. Not all of them. Items and equipment are a definite no. You will never be able to bring items or equipment with you to another server. But you may potentially be able to transfer your character. I'll be at a weakened state. Uh, and the, the, the link was to a post from the last week. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not a new post then. Uh, MC Slurry? Copy. Or Max Slurry? I got this. I'm uh, posting it and going right straight to it right now. <clears throat> po po uh, posting what? MC Slurry's I, just, I posted it so I could see the link. Yeah, I'm actually looking at it. Posted what? I, I'm not sure if I'll... Um, the link that you just sent in Discord. I actually posted it now uh, inside my web browser. And I'm looking oh. Link. Yeah. Um, MC Slurry is uh, saying, is rating only picking locks or will we need explosives as well? Um, Wreckful, there okay, will uh, be other options, but not right away. Yeah, we debated that there will be other things. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, also, guys, you will actually be able to craft your own chests, obviously. So, improvised chests, everyone. And even though your character despawns, or doesn't despawn, but... Uh, well, despawns. <laughs> Disappears when you exactly. log out. Yeah, you leave, you leave the game yeah. after 45 seconds, yeah. Yeah, uh, but the... Things you put in chests or in your fortified building? They're going to stay in the game. Oh, yeah. Now, so yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna, uh, gonna to wait until all you guys just log out. <laughs> then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take your stuff and then I'm going to move it to some undisclosed location. The real location, question is, the neighboring can I building. take the chest and put that underground too? Oh, that would be interesting. Oh, that would have been really sweet. Also, another fact Big is for anyone who likes blocks, they will be implemented into the game, but they're not sure about uh, the first day of EA. So, probably later on. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, I let let me do a quick check. I am pretty sure. Yeah, that's all I have right now. That's all the information I'm going to be able to get. I, uh, I looked through all the newest things. And I brought it up, and I have no new information right now. Basically, uh, the most we could do is keep on talking about what we have, Life. or we. Can... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's up to you guys. I'm good to go as long as you guys go, and uh, then when we're all ready, I'll. I'm I'll stru stop. I'm struggling to stay awake at this point. I think. Uh, do you want to just end it now, then? Uh, if it's if you guys are cool with it, I think um I think I'll have to turn. Oh, come it. on, guys! We gotta have a dramatic ending. His head has to hit the yeah. keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think the best point right now, because if honestly, if we keep continuing to talk, we're gonna be dragging it out, and it's just gonna be con conversations we've already gone over, debated about. Yeah. I think we should wait until we grab more information to make another stream where we debate and talk about those. Facts that uh, get released. And not to mention until your mic starts dropping out again. That too. That because it's, it's been working for now, but we don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> I jinxed it. I jinxed it. It did it? It did it. You, oh, this is you. <laughs> you did this. Okay, so basically for now, I guess I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to stop by all of our channels, but, you know, most importantly, mwah. <laughs> wow. And subscribe, leave a like to all of our videos so that you'll be able to not only show us that you're supporting us and you actually enjoy the facts that you learned and put, post questions down below in the comment section. I will definitely answer as soon as possible and as accurately as possible. I know Completely Average Gaming will do the same. Oh, and yeah. in any stream that... Uh, Syntex, Toxie, or Chaotic Rob are doing, they will do the same thing while they're live. And like I said, we're definitely going to be putting out content and finding as much new con uh, questions and topics to debate. Uh, I'm uh, Also, if you guys want to, you know, come hang out with us, the link I'm about to drop, if I can find the right button, I was struggling with this the last time as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm two subscribers away from 200 total views, so be those two people, guys. Make uh, me happy. Hey, average gamer, I uh, posted it in the Discord channel. Oh, the Discord awesome. Chat. Awesome. Uh, okay, you already got the sin core. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Here we go. All right. Uh, okay. But yeah, as he's getting that ready for you guys to post in, it's our the Discord we're using to be able to con uh, talk to each other, uh, ask questions, uh, debate about things that are coming out without actually, you know, doing what we're doing now and posting it. You'll actually just be able to ask questions and people will actually answer you. I know I will try to answer in Discord as well, but most of my questions and facts and stuff that I'll be talking about debating will be in live streams or posted in, uh, in just a factual informational video that you'll see on my YouTube channel. Yeah. And and also you'll get notifications when we, the the awesome team of uh, of at least laughter, uh, is gonna be <laughs> playing online. Jeez. Oh yeah. Yes, you will be notified when we go live. Oh yeah. <laughs> you will be, but don't forget to subscribe because I put out daily content. Um, I'm pretty sure you do too as well. Completely average gaming, right? I do. I do. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you st uh, you stream every day, right, Kayak? Uh, at least three to four times a week. Okay, three to four times a week. Okay. But, uh, you, on my page, I have, uh, it stated what I do on my YouTube channel. On the channel art, it'll say streams, compilations, uh, reviews, etc. I'm now moving into doing more informational videos and, uh, other things other than Let's Plays. But if you are not only interested in just scum, but other things as well, I have over 560 videos. So feel free to enjoy as much of them as you want. <laughs> well, that's and about all I can say. I mean, I'm gonna end to my the games that I stream <laughs> right now. It's currently Overwatch and Oxygen is not included. But when Scum comes out, yeah, ha ha ha, very <laughs> fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. When Scum comes out, I'm pretty much gonna be streaming this almost exclusively. At I least will until be all dead exclusively. <laughs> Uh, I'm definitely gonna cycle, like, once Scum comes out, it's gonna be exclusively Scum. I will be releasing daily videos uh, just for information, and then also 
I'll be putting out Let's Plays compilations and just funny moments or great moments that I thought were awesome while playing Sco. And eventually, probably around December or whenever uh, a game called Mavericks Proving Grounds is coming out, I will uh, switch between doing both of them. So my time is going to be gone out, out the window. It'll be dedicated to like, scum right now, but then once Mavericks comes out, uh, no time, no, no life. Yeah, no, I'm the same way with scum and dead matter. I've got myself tickets to the closed alpha for dead matter that's coming out fourth quarter. What about you? You got any uh, other game you'll be adding to your feature? Scum for a year. <laughs> We're talking to you completely average. Oh, he's quiet. Yeah, you're muted. No, he's faking it. He's definitely faking it. <laughs> no, he's not faking it. I can't hear him. He's faking it. He was faking it. No, uh, no, no. Listen, you can actually hear him. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll um, be doing um, Scum, of course. Uh, and then once it comes out, I'll definitely be doing um, Satisfactory as well. Which is awesome because... You know, it's from Sweden, which is my neighboring country, which is awesome because, you know, there's less people living in Sweden than there is in New York, and there's twice as many people living in Sweden as there is in Norway. You know, I actually got something we can end this on. What about, like, as we leave, we just kind of give off, like, what we think our play style is going to be in this game overall? Just kind of end with, like, for instance, I think I'm going to be a very skittish person. I'm going to be like, where's that loot? Give me the loot. And if I see somebody with a gun, I'm like, <laughs> run away. And then there'll be the time where I see somebody. And I'm going to be like, yep, I can take him. And then run out and get screwed because I'm going to get killed and thought I could take him. I'm going to be Definitely the... Definitely passive aggressive. I'm going to be the classic. Oh, yeah. I'm going to spec into the sniper skills. And then I'm going to switch over to SMGs and just go crazy with that and die pretty quickly. Okay. And I'm going to make friends with all the unfriendly people on the island. Mr. Smiles <laughs> shall be my friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm you're on our side. <laughs> I definitely think I'm going to end it with just imagine using the programming and electronic skill to exactly. hack Mr. Smiles and use him as a companion. And take out your friend. <laughs> and bring him to the airport where the Uber driver will deliver everyone. There we go. And scare everyone shitless onto the plane. <laughs> and the plane takes off. <laughs> and then okay, well, Mr. That's all I have, messes up, shoots the plane, the plane starts to fall into the <sighs> ocean. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm definitely uh, out of everything now. I've yeah. said everything I need to. I hope you guys enjoyed okay. this. I really did enjoy talking with you guys and answering your questions and just debating about the facts and future plans that are going to be coming out with Scum. And I just Indeed, love it the amount quite of... quite fun. Yeah, and I just love the amount of stuff that we've gotten in and chats and, and uh, some of them on Reddit as well. Um, I didn't point that out, but some of the things I've read out loud has also been from, from Reddit. Um, hang on. Uh, someone asked something. Um, Peter Quad. Okay. I'm going to be aggressive, die a lot, probably. Uh, but learn as fast as possible and start hunting, hurting for everybody. Um, sounds like a good plan, and um, the initial part of that is going to be me. I'm going to go aggressive okay. and die. It, it, it sounds like a good way to actually uh, survive. Who knows, though? <laughs> like we said, this could be what we say we're going to do, and I could turn out to be that aggressive troll person who's chasing people down for their Snickers bar or something. Yeah, you sound, yeah I you could see like you the being Snickers the guy bar. inside of the frigging bear... Suit, oh, okay, come on, down. come on. <laughs> you really picture me chasing people down for a Snickers bar? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no and doubt. To top okay. that off, I could see you running people down with your freaking Uber vehicle. <laughs> Uber! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, I hit the gas pedal, not the brake. Oh, no. Oh, no! I hit him! Well, I mean, you're dead. You're not really gonna use this equipment while I'm, equipping everything. I'm gonna one-star you I mean, on Uber. Oh. I'm just telling you. I'm gonna one-star you on Uber. Well, at least he's not gonna yell at me, so that's the one I really care about. Alright. But, uh, as I was saying, unless there's any further questions, I think we're about done here. Yeah, and if, if you any other questions pop up, leave those in the 
common field, the common section. Yeah, just stop by Completely Average Gaming's uh, YouTube channel or my channel, Slave to the Games. Leave them below our scum-related videos or in the discussion tab on YouTube, and we will try our best to make sure that that is either implemented next YouTube video released or into those streams where we talk about the game. Or on the Discord channel. There's a, a whole channel dedicated to questions. Yeah, that. If you have them. And stuff. Okay. And, and if you want to post questions to me, post the questions and the answers, and uh, <laughs> then you have the answer as well. Uh, it was supposed yeah, to be. I mean, my, uh, it, it felt more funny you, than it was. <laughs> if it's the same for you, uh, completely average gaming, uh, I'm pretty sure my YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, like everything is slave to the games. It's all exactly spelled the same, it's the exact same name. If you uh, see anyone who's like it, if they don't look like this, a white guy with blonde hair, or dirty blonde, it's not brown, okay? <laughs> it's me. But anything else, do not follow it. There is a person on YouTube who has slave space to the games. They're not me. <laughs> Same thing with mine. Uh, if you guys see anybody with a chaotic rob and doesn't have the zero where the first O is supposed to be, it's not me. Like I said, definitely stop by though and subscribe with, because with, you, I release daily. You know, with me, if you see anyone else called Completely Average Gaming, it's probably me. <laughs> Unless it has a number after it, or it's not spelled exactly like how it's spelled now. I'd probably just say, watch it as two underscores instead of spaces. I cannot. <laughs> it has, yes. I, I cannot possibly imagine it. Anyone else being dumb enough to call himself Completely Average Gaming? <laughs> that. I mean, I don't know if you really want to end this insulting yourself, but okay. <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> okay, I definitely uh, see light coming out of your window right now. Oh, yeah. Some is coming. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's a lot of light coming in through your window well, right now. As I said, thank you guys for watching. I really it, hope you enjoyed this. It's not the sun. It's just me. I'm glowing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys were able to learn something new by this, and you were sticking around, hanging out with us. And for you guys who were watching this on YouTube... After the stream is already over, I really hope you still enjoy watching this and listening to us reply to other people's comments and come up with well everything I said beforehand in terms of facts. <laughs> I want to end on a high note instead. Uh, Peter Quad says, "Thanks guys for the stream. Actually, I'm saving money for Scum like three months or more. Big fan of yours." Boom. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, and then Squatch follows up with, "Yes, thanks for the stream, fellas. Um, I would like to say thank you uh, both to." Chaotic and to slave to the game and to um, Syntex Troxy, uh, Toxy from the last one, um, <laughs> and not to mention He's to all the beautiful people who have uh, been hanging out with us. I definitely agree. I couldn't have said it better. And, uh, Phenomenally done, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you well, so much for watching, at least, and hope to you see said, you guys, you guys in the next have a nice one. night or morning. <laughs> Good sleep. Have a good night, guys. See you later. Later out. Bye. Cheerio.